you're not going to believe this, but this really is guitar for total beginners. And the thing that's going to make it possible is this little, this little clamp right here. Recently, I just did a workshop at a VA hospital uh, for folks in the spinal cord unit. And I was able to teach them to play guitar. So anybody who's saying, hey, I can't do it. Um, I've taught people who are missing limbs, uh, people who don't have finger control how to play guitar, and I guarantee that we're going to get you playing guitar right now. So stick with us for this lesson. Um, my philosophy, and I hope, I hope you're with me on this, uh, my philosophy is that it's better to need to play than to want to play. When you love how it feels and you just love picking it up and doing it, it's way better than thinking, time to practice guitar again because then you don't learn anything and you don't take it with you to the bathroom. And you know what I mean? When you get nuts about the guitar, you just have to play it. That's where the juice is. So what I'd like you to do is trust me that this little shortcut capo is not a crutch. It's a really good tool uh, for learning what you need to learn. And uh, it'll help you get to the full chords as soon as you want or not, or maybe you never have to learn them. Or maybe you have special needs and you're gonna play with this thing forever or you don't and you're going to play with this thing forever. I take it on stage all the time. Stick with us. The deal with the shortcut capo is it leaves a couple of strings out. You see how it leaves that low string out and these two high strings? The guitar sounds like this and then you put the shortcut capo on and it sounds like that. It sounds pretty cool. So the very first thing that I want to teach you is the one chord it's, a, it's basically a D chord, but for the moment, let's call it a one. And it's right here. And that, it's already your money chord. It's the third string, one, two, three, and it's the fourth fret, one, two, three, four. It's right here. Isn't that fun? Check this out, I wanna teach you two more chords. Take this finger and run it one string up toward the sky. and then go back. There's a one chord, here's a five chord, right there in the middle. Supplemental content's gonna have this. And then here's your two chord. Now go back to five. Now go back to one. Make sense? <laughs> Stick with us, there's a song coming with it. Some people are really adverse to this method because they think it has to be hard. Um, I, you know, I think when you're teaching a kid to ride a bike, training wheels is a nice, they're, they're nice. It's a good thing. It, you, you can call this training wheels if you want. It doesn't have to be. I, I don't go on stage without these things because they're so, I mean, look at this big sound. one finger moving around right and granted I've got a lot more going on in the right hand but it's not really cheating I mean it's sort of cheating but then again frets are cheating too right pull the frets off and try to get it you know just like a violin so I don't really think it's cheating and check out what the full chords would be like so let me here's this one finger thing right here here's this one finger thing and there's that one finger thing the full chords of these would be this and then this Again, three fingers, and then this, two fingers. So, in order to do what we just did, sailed on the sloop, John B, my grandfather and me, all around the town we did roam, drinking all night, got into a fight, now I feel so broke up, I want to go, and you're not going to do that in the first 30 seconds, you're probably not going to do that in your first week, and then you're going to go, I'm going to go practice the guitar, because you don't, who wants to, I mean, you don't want to do that, right? But for total beginners, I think the money's here. And I think the money's here for six-year-olds. I think the money's here for people with MS and spinal injuries. I think the money's here for folks with arthritis because you can set the guitar in your lap and do exactly the same thing. So, there's that. Here's this. There's that. And, like we said before, you've got ear training here too. So doing just these three things, you've got great ear training. You know the backbone chords to all Western music. Pick it. Um, country roads take me home right here. Stay right there. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. I mean, it's all right there. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains. 
Blowing like a, I mean, it's all right there. So you've got it all right there. So pick a song, pick stuff you know and like, and just strum around with it and play and see what you think.